There are many places to go zip lining in Southeast Asia, but the Gibbon experience in Laos is uh, one of the most exhilarating with some of the tallest and longest zip lines in the world. Ta-ta! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you're not going to be staying alone in the treehouse. There's really no private rooms other than the bathroom, which, uh, of course, is open air. Our group has travelers from Latvia, the United Kingdom, Germany, in America. And of course, this American was not alone. I found a fellow Chicagoan on this venture. Um, I'm here just to explore the world and have fun. Um, Zipline, mostly Zipline. <laughs> Been in deep in the rainforest in Laos and we're at the Gibbon Experience. Um, we've been in the tr tallest treehouse in the world and we've been ziplining around the jungle for the last two days. My drone fell from the tallest treehouse in the world. Um, so I had the downward vis vision positioning system off but the side sensors were still on and I tried to take, out, take off from inside the treehouse. Um, and it got very confused because there was wood and trees on both sides of it. Um, so I tried to back up, I tried to move sideways and all the um, controller commands were overridden and it crashed into a tree. Um, we have it on video, but it fell all the way to the bottom of the tree. And miraculously was intact and flying this next day. <laughs> Great thing, I have a Mavic Pro and the wings fold in, so it hit branches on the way down and the wings absorbed some of the impact um, and it luckily landed upside down, so the gimbal, it was fine. It was the luckiest thing ever. <laughs> Lives to fly another day. Mm -hmm. And where will the drone go next after this adventure? Um, next we're gonna go to um, Thailand, the Philippines, and then Bali, so should get some more good nature shots. <laughs> The guides will zip in in the morning to provide a hot breakfast, hot water for tea and coffee, and even hot chocolate.